In this short video, I would like to show you how ColorLab AI can improve your dailies creation process, how your dailies are going to be faster and how they're going to look better. So let's take this scenario into account. Let's, for example, you're an owner operator, you got hired to do some shoot for a client and at the end of the day, you want to deliver them dailies as quickly as possible and you want those dailies to look their best. So the best you were able to do so far is to do so-called one light. You know, you would just apply a look, kind of copy on everything and then render as fast as possible. But you know, with ColorLab AI, this is going to change because now you can, you know, create a look and then also ColorLab is going to match it to every shot in a, so they look, you know, the best possible way. Um, not only that, um, what we are also going to be able to do is deliver those dailies in such a way that they can be viewed simultaneously both in SDR and HDR, you know, without you having to do anything extra for it. And also based on our test, you're going to be able to accomplish everything in less than half of the time to what it used to take you to do the same job before. So um, for this task, all you're going to need is a ColorLab AI and a Frame.io account. Um, you can download free version of ColorLab AI from our website and use a test project to follow along. Um, and also, if you don't have a Frame.io, you can open a trial account and start using it immediately. Uh, also, I want to let you know that we're going to have a Michael Cioni as a guest on, the, on a Colorist Meetup coming up soon, who's going to explain to us why he thinks that you know doing dailies in HDR is a is a significant you know importance for the creative process. Uh, and guys, if you like this content and like what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. There's going to be more of cool tutorials coming up. So let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Colab AI and import footage and on the import it's going to ask us, hey, tell us what the camera you were using and as it happens on this day, today we were using three different types of cameras. So first there was a Blackmagic design, so I'm going to use a generation 4 for that. Then uh, we had a Panasonic camera and that is going to be Vlog and then also we had a Sony camera and this is going to be the S-Log3 for Sony. So what Conolab did now is basically to apply a standard Rec 709 curve to each of the shots, but in its own color space, which has already helped kind of bring everything to look normalized and look similar to one another on a timeline. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and apply scene markers. So there is a basically a scene here and I'm just pressing um, M on my keyboard to mark a scene. This is all looking as one scene. This is now going to be another scene, you know, that kind of hacker scene. So basically, I don't care anymore what camera this is and, and how this is shot because this is all taken care of. All I need to worry about is just what kind of look I'm going to apply to it. What I'm going to do is next is I'm going to apply a show light and um, ColorLab already comes with a little library of show lights. Um, but you know, for this occasion, I'm actually going to use one that is custom made using Look Designer earlier. Um, and this is this show light here because I think it gives me really cool kind of look, you know, for this is the Rec 709. This is with the show light. We I feel it's kind of more like an action movie. Um, so I'm going to use this as a reference and then I'm just going to go and match it for the rest of the scene. Okay, so let's see what kind of job uh, we know we got. This is looking perfect, of course. I can actually look at my scene shots here, but I think here, this shot, you know, I would potentially make it a little bit more moodier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press enter and then go and then select the theatrical here. It's looking good. Or a little custom one is not bad either, right? But I think, yeah, I'll stick to this kind of, you know, theatrical and then here, I'm going to go and also maybe see how theatrical is looking. No, actually smart was looking better. Okay, so that's basically, you know, this scene matched. Um, then I'm going to move on to this scene here. 
again let's just apply the same show lat and it's looking absolutely fantastic you know let's see i like it but maybe potentially what i think i could do is i could you know maybe just open it up a little bit and for that i can use printer lights because they give me like a you know stop accurate you know setting so you see i have just opened it for four you know printer points um, which is about a third of a stop uh, that's all we need for probably for this particular scene and I'm just gonna go and say okay this is now my reference and go ahead and match the rest of the scene mm -hmm. excellent so let's see what kind of job um, did color lab do this is looking great you see this one is looking good as well let's just play it a little bit Fantastic. By the way, this is all 4K footage. It's a native 4K footage that I'm grading, you know, straight from the camera. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Everything, you know, just looking absolutely fantastic. Matching perfectly, right? You know, look at that shot. Here, maybe because it has a quite a lot of light, maybe see whether I could go for a little darker version right let me see this one yeah this is probably best one you know because i just want it to be as moody as the other ones now we're getting a little darker here and here in this shot i like it is there one that's gonna open it up a little bit for me here again dailies yeah that one is just looking just great so i can see at least a little bit the faces all right then here um we're gonna go and just make sure that you know the same show it is applied as well it's true but i'm gonna only open the mid-tone here that's all i need yeah just a little bit of a mid-tone and then i'm going to go and say okay you know this is good for my reference um let's go and match the rest of the scene okay so let's see the results so this one is still looking a little bit too dark so i'm just gonna go and see so dailies is looking much better for this one yeah they are very good this one is fine the way it is this is a, a really interesting shot yeah now it's coming you know from you know i love the look of it this one looks a little bit more greenish and it must be like a one version that is matching everything a little bit better so probably like you know this one here you know and then let's see this one i think i'm gonna have to choose which light i'm gonna go for so i see i think you know i will probably go you know for this kind of perceptual for all of them because i just think like you know they look better like this right so i'm just gonna go and choose this version perceptual one right so that way like you know i got them these three shots you know to have more consistency you know together with this shot with this shot and this shot this shot i'm just gonna go and desaturate a little bit more just needs a little bit less saturation and maybe i'll bring it down you know little fine touches so that it kind of looks more in line with this guy here so basically what we got now is a dailies looking pretty good in a very short amount of time you know and it's not just the one light but actually everything seemed to be matched every scene has the pets look so now what we can do is we can proceed by rendering these dailies for frame io and this is very specific i'm going to say render all and i'm going to select an h 65 because this is the best format for like online delivery in terms of the image quality i'm going to make them only hd no need for 4k but here is a trick i'm going to actually make them hdr 10. so what color lab is going to do is gonna translate you know the the values from my sdr grade i just performed here to how they should look in hdr and it's gonna write this into these dailies and it's gonna make those dailies exactly like you know how they should look so i'm just gonna open a folder and call it dailies and we're gonna just go save and render to it and because all of the processing is happening on the gpu the faster your gpu the faster the whole render is going to be so i'm going to leave it to render a little bit and as soon as it's finished i'm going to come back so now that the render has finished you know here are the files and i'm just going to open one with quicktime and as you can see the files looks 
absolutely fine on my SDR screen. And if I open the information, you're going to see actually, you know, it's like a BT 2020 HDR 10 file. Okay, so the next step for me is to upload it to the Frame.io. So here we are, we uploaded the files to Frame.io. They are very small because, you know, this codec is very efficient. And then as you can see, if I play them back here on my desktop, they look absolutely fine, like an SDR dailies. Um, but on the iPhone 12, they're going to look like perfect looking HDR. Thank <laughs> you.